Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday. Today, we're talking about disqualifying yourself. Recently, someone asked me to do something that I'd never done before and something, quite frankly, I never wanted to do. But instead of me listening to the entire proposal, thinking about it and coming back with a good answer, I began to give them every reason they did not want me. I can't because I've never done it before. I can't because it may not be a good fit. I can't because it's not my personality. Surely there's someone else. Basically, you don't want me. That person looked at me and said, if I didn't think you could do it, I would have never asked you. I was embarrassed. But how many of you disqualify yourself every day? What does disqualifying yourself look like? Well, when an opportunity comes up, instead of thinking about it, the first thing out of your mouth is the I can't because statement. I can't because I've never done it. I can't because I have no money. I can't because I don't have support. I can't because no one will believe in me. I can't because fill in the blank. Those I can't because statements are the reason that you are still standing in a place that has become uncomfortable. Instead, apply for the job. Go back to school. Introduce yourself to that person. Stand up when everything in you says sit down. Don't disqualify yourself. There's enough of that in the world already. You see, the world is bigger than just you. And if you disqualify yourself, it makes a ripple effect. You don't do what you're supposed to do, so you don't meet the person you were supposed to meet, who then was supposed to help someone else, and that person never gets a chance. So the next time you think of disqualifying yourself, don't. Instead of I can't because, remember I can because I'm able, I'm willing, and I'm ready. Thank you everybody for watching, and thank you so much for sharing my videos. My name is Ricky Smith. And I'll see you next Friday.